Our verse today is 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I shall do for you before I am taken from you. And Elisha said, Please, let there be a double portion of your spirit on me. When Elijah knew he was about to be taken to heaven, he wanted to dismiss Elisha, asking him to stay back in different places. But Elisha refused and kept following Elijah. When they crossed the Jordan, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what I shall do for you before I am taken from you. Our focus is on the reply of Elisha because there are different interpretations. Elisha said, Yihina, Pishenaim, Birukaka, Elah. Please let there be to me two parts of your spirit. The expression Pishenaim in Hebrew literally means two mouths. It therefore means two parts or a double portion. Some have interpreted the double portion as referring to the power of working miracles and prophesying. The problem with this interpretation is that Elijah was not only known for his miraculous power. In 1 Kings chapter 18, he was the defender of the law and of true worship of the one true God. In 1 Kings chapter 19, Elijah said he was zealous for the Lord and persevered as the only prophet amid persecution. 1 Kings 19 verse 10 and 14. Some others see the expression double portion as wanting to excel above his fellow disciples. This interpretation assumes that the sons of the prophets were also disciples of Elijah. However, the sons of the prophets were not immediate disciples of Elijah as Elisha was. Still, they followed Elijah and Elisha at some distance to the Jordan. Another interpretation is that the double portion here means great and perfect, as we read in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 18, where the same word is used. In other words, Elisha was asking to be as great as Elijah, his master. Moreover, Elisha performed the same kind of Elijah miracles. All these interpretations give only parts of the meaning of the phrase. To understand the meaning of the double portion or two parts, we must look at its usage in the Bible. In the book of Deuteronomy, Moses commands the people to treat the firstborn, especially of a man with two wives, whether the firstborn be of the favorite wife or of the unloved wife. The firstborn is to be given a double portion of the man's inheritance. Read Deuteronomy chapter 21, 15 to 17. Asking for a double portion of Elijah's spirit means that Elisha was placing himself as the first among the prophets. In this sense, he may be comparing himself with the other prophets who followed from afar, that Elijah gives him as the firstborn a double portion of his spirit. Elijah is like a man with two wives, having many children. Elisha distinguishes himself as the favorite and the firstborn of Elijah. He was not necessarily asking for twice the power of Elijah, but twice more than other prophets would ordinarily receive. Elisha saw himself as the heir to Elijah who should inherit his spirit and power. In other words, he wanted to continue the ministry of Elijah. However we look at it, Elisha was ambitious. Hence, Elijah said he was asking for something very difficult because only God can give that kind of spirit. Indeed, Elisha received the double portion of the spirit of Elijah through Elijah's mantle. If you read 2 Kings chapter 2, 13-15. And he became more influential than the other prophets, carrying the same power and spirit of Elijah. We learn from Elisha the reward for persistence. Even when the other prophets stayed at a distance, Elisha followed Elijah to the very end, and so he received what he requested. Second, Elisha teaches us that ambition is not bad in itself. It is good to be ambitious and vocal about what we want, especially when we are aiming for a good thing. However, we must wait on the Lord to grant that request in his own way. Elisha received the double portion which he requested, but not the way he wanted it. God gave it to him through the mantle of Elijah. Lord, 
Give us a double portion of your spirit as your children, sharing in the power of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day.